My name is Jodie Bryant. I am the simulation based education lead for the School of Health Sciences. So, simulation is what we call a pedagogical technique. So, it's been around for a long, long time, but over recent times, the use of technology and the kind of teaching around simulation has really expanded. So, in terms of the new facilities, so we have a new uh, skills and simulation uh, facility kind of hub, uh, and within that hub, we've got an updated operating theatre which we're in at the moment we've got a uh, pretend ward so students feel as if they're in a hospital with all of the kind of uh, fittings and fixtures that they would expect to see within a hospital ward. We have a anaesthetic room, we have a recovery suite, we have a new basic life support suite which is a specific room that is uh, designed specially for training basic life support so our students are really prepared to go out into the community. We also have um, a new uh, telehealth suite which can be used to kind of uh, simulate uh, virtual patient interactions as well as other uh, technology teachings and there's also a new uh, midwifery suite with a birthing pool and various other uh, midwifery facilities. From my background I've not actually worked on a ward before so I've not actually been in a hospital so to come into this sort of room and look at how everything would be and how everything's situated it's actually really good for us to get a feel of what would actually life be on placement to come on here and listen to all the noises and not know where everything is, it might seem daunting when you walk in here the first time, but obviously our lecturers are really good lecturers, so they made us feel, they simplified everything, made us feel calm and went through everything in a lot of detail. So I guess when you have someone in here who has that experience, it really helps. So for students to be able to practice with this kind of equipment, it means that, again, they get that real feeling of being prepared for when they go out and they're using these skills and um, techniques on real life patients as opposed to mannequins and uh, each other in some ways. Um, and it means that they hopefully feel prepared, it means that they feel confident, and it means that we at BCU know that the students that we're sending out into the community to practice are as well prepared and as highly trained as we can possibly make them within the university environment.